It's official. Mayor Andy Shore and Councilwoman Kathy Dunbar came out on top in Tuesday's mayoral primary race, and they'll be the ones facing off in November's election. We've worked really hard, and we've listened to a lot of folks, and we've put together a platform that represents what folks in this city want and need, and I am I am happy to represent that in office. Councilwoman Kathy Dunbar says she's looking forward to November's election after finding out she's one of two mayoral candidates who made it through the primary election. Six candidates went into the primary. Now Dunbar and Mayor Andy Shore are the final two standing. My message would be to thank everyone that supported me through this process, everyone who came out to vote, everyone who voted absentee, everyone who exercised their right to control the destiny of land. I say this all the time, but we literally have the future of Lansing in our hands every time we vote. Shaw released this statement saying in part, I am truly honored by the great number of Lansing residents who turned out to the polls in support of our vision. In the past, Shaw said if elected for a second term, he'll focus on the city's infrastructure, diversity efforts, and gun violence among you. I am confident that the budget we have is able to support our neighborhoods, our safety, our, our jobs and infrastructure. If elected, Dunbar will be the first woman to serve as mayor in Lansing. She plans to push physical responsibility in citizen-driven development and address issues such as homelessness, gun violence, and inequality. The future of Lansing is yours. Every time you vote, you get to choose how we move forward in the city. You put the people in who represent your voice, they do the work that you want to have done, and I'm proud of everyone who went to the polls today and did that. And if folks didn't go to the polls today, I encourage them to get registered and do it in November. Now the general election is set for November 3rd. For now, we're here in Lansing. I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.